Hello everyone, it's Phil here. Welcome to a video build guide. We're building an Athlon 64 gaming machine uh, on the Socket 754. Lots of information in this video. I'm going to talk about all the components. Uh, we're going to have a look at the BIOS, how to install Windows, installing the drivers. We're going to benchmark uh, some uh, 3D Mark benchmarks. We're going to benchmark the hard drive and also some games, Doom, Fear and Half-Life 2 Lost Coast. So enjoy this video. I'm using a motherboard from ASRock. It's based on the Enforce 4 chipset. Very stable. I've upgraded it to the latest BIOS version 1.3. I do recommend that you clear the uh, CMOS and start from uh, scratch, loading the BIOS defaults and then taking it from there. I also recommend that you swap out the uh, coin battery. New batteries, they don't cost much and it's a good thing to do. I'm also using the latest Enforce driver version 15.26, which you can get from the NVIDIA website. All the downloads are still on the ASRock website, so uh, you can just uh, get it from there, but I'll put a link in the description. Processor is an AMD Athlon 64 3400 plus. It's clocked at 2.4 gigahertz and based on the Venice core. Just two standard one gigabyte sticks of DDR400 megahertz memory. I did have to go into the BIOS and manually set the memory speed to uh, 200 megahertz by default it was running at 166 so that's just something to be aware of otherwise not not much to talk about here the maximum memory this motherboard can handle is two gigabytes so this is as good as it gets graphics card is a pci express g4 7900 gtx really cool card it's fast it's got a very good uh, cooler nice and quiet I'm using the uh, latest NVIDIA driver version 307.83. Do note that some games don't work correctly with the latest driver. I've got an example here of Far Cry where uh, some of the textures are missing. So on s for some games you have to use a, an older driver, but that's not a big deal. I just um, use the latest driver uh, because I want to keep it consistent for some of the future videos so I can make some good uh, comparisons. The sound card I'm using is a Sound Blaster X5 Titanium PCI Express. Very good card, does all the CMSS 3D uh, surround over headphones. Um, the driver I'm using is the latest driver from the Creative website, had no issues, it just works. Main storage device is a modern Seagate 2TB SATA 3 hard drive. The controllers, the SATA controllers on the Enforce 4 chipset are SATA 2 compatible and I had no issues running a SATA 3 drive uh, on this uh, setup. The chipset is not compatible with AHCI, so you don't have to worry about AHCI drivers. Just set the controllers to IDE the BIOS and just install it normal. I do recommend, because Windows XP doesn't support uh, aligning these modern drives, I do recommend um, that you partition and format them on a modern computer. I've got a little clip that shows you what to do. And um, at the end, when you put it back in the computer, and you're installing Windows XP, just make sure that you don't partition and format it, format it again. Just use the third option as shown in the video. For an optical drive, nothing fancy. It's a standard SATA DVD RW drive. The power supply I'm using is a modern ATX power supply. I find them more reliable and I don't want to risk um, destroying some of the uh, nice hardware with an uh, older power supply that might blow up. Before I put a machine in a case, I always put it together on a test bench, just making sure that everything works because it's much easier to solve problems uh, when you're not having to work uh, inside a case. Because I cleared the CMOS and replaced the battery, I had to uh, load the BIOS defaults and also set the dates and the time. There are a few other things I'm doing in the BIOS. One is setting the memory speed to 200 megahertz because by default it uh, uses 166. I also disable resources I don't use, specifically the serial and the parallel ports. I also disable the uh, floppy, floppy controller and also the sound card because I'm using a dedicated sound blaster. At this stage, before I proceed with installing Windows XP, I'm just using the Harens boot CD, which has a mini Windows XP, 
it's basically a live version of Windows XP and then off a USB thumb drive I'm just running CPU Z make sure everything uh, shows up correctly that the bus speed the clock speed of the processor and the memory speed are all correct and now the machine is ready to install Windows XP I'm using Windows XP service pack Three. So we're just installing it. After that, we're just gonna install a few drivers, definitely the Enforce uh, chipset driver, the GeForce graphics driver, and also the um, X5 Titanium Sound Blaster driver. I'm also installing uh, DirectX 9 and Steam and installing a few games. And once this is done, we're gonna have a look at some benchmarks to see what this machine can actually do. Okay, time for some benchmarking. We start by benchmarking the hard drive. So as we're using a modern two terabyte Seagate hard drive, performance is actually really impressive. Um, the access time is very low and the uh, data throughput is also very impressive. So I've got a couple of benchmarks here. Um, you'll see uh, the benchmark go through the process and at the end you can see the score and uh, all, all the results. In this section we're looking at some 3D marks. We've got 2001, 2003 and 2005. So the video is fast forwarded but at the end you can see uh, all the scores and compare them with uh, your other systems that you might have at home. And here we've got some gaming benchmarks. I'm using Doom 3, Fear and Half-Life. Uh, to Lost Coast. All the benchmarks are run at 1024 by 768. All the, uh, the settings are used, um, you can find on a little page I put on my website. You'll find a link down below. So again, we're just looking at the benchmarks unfold and at the end we can see the results. And that's it for this video. I had a lot of fun building this machine. It was rock solid, didn't have any issues, no blue screens, it was super stable. The only issue I ran into was when I tried to bench uh, Far Cry. And for that game, you have to use an older video driver, so I removed it from my benchmark suite because I want to do a couple of other benchmarks in the future and have some results to compare against this machine. As always, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Any questions, any feedbacks, leave them down below. I'm always keen to hear from you.